which looked really good and it's my favorite hairstyle in once and I got a lot of new to see me transform my hair. Today is a Hi, I'm Aristotle. We're not us. They're unbelievable. Here again, it was in between visits, he basks in the memories of their 64-year marriage outside of a Shakespeare side. always wraps everything up in it. Dang, none of this stuff gets dry. So, I washed my hair. Washed my hair and I used the Master Cleanse from Taraji P. Ensign. I can't say that I'm in love. It's like a watery consistency, like literally it looks like water. I didn't even realize sun was coming out until it was too late. I don't like that you can't open up the bottle all the way. Like when you twist it, that's what triggers the nozzles to open up, but you can't like twist the cap all the way off. So I can't see how much product is in there, but it feels a lot lighter. I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know. Um, another thing is, oh, I've been talking, I'm gonna try out the Energizing Cooling Serum on my scalp. Let me see what this looks like. Oh, okay. Looks like a serum. Yeah, and that's another thing. It stunk. I didn't like the smell of it. Like, I don't mind the tingle and the minty smell, but that's not what it smelled like. It smelled musty to me. It smelled musty straight up. And this, I'm gonna be honest with you, don't smell no better. I'm just trying to see what it do for my scalp. But yeah, didn't like the smell. This Dev has the tingle factor to it. The cooling factor, the tingle factor. I'm gonna do a twist out today, so I'm gonna kinda let my hair just stay in these while I eat. I'm gonna dry my scalp a little bit though. Y'all know that's my new bag. Not open to having 
good, good women in my life. Okay. I'm a lot to handle all that she's loving to die. The grandmother that I lost. I'm glad that that's over for her. I mm -hmm. put this in perspective long ago. Oh my god, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I see the love. A big part of that. That's the yes. Yeah. Well, I have to say. This is actually my second dinner. I find myself doing that during Ramadan. I was, I'll eat one thing, like right to break my fast. I'll have a meal, and then a few hours later, I need something else. So this is my something else. I love this squiggly pasta from Trader Joe's. I do dress it up myself though, like, so boom, I got the sauce packet, and I've made this before, this is just a little reminder. So we got the sauce packet, and I, my chicken that I made this week. I used one of those pieces of chicken, it's the last one I had. Heated it up in the stove, reheated it in the stove, and then chopped it up in little bite-sized pieces. So that's in there. Then, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Thai peanut sauce. Make a fork for that. I wonder when does this go bad? I think I tried to see last time when it goes bad. Yeah, like it doesn't say. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hold here. Okay, so mix that in. I wish I had some green onions. I don't have any. But normally I would put some green onions in there. I'm gonna use this crunchy chili onion stuff. Also from Trader Joe's. Not spicy. It's really not. It has like a little bit of a, a little tiny itsy bitsy bit of heat to it. I wouldn't even say heat. What do they say? When something feels what is it called? Whatever. It's not spicy though. But I am gonna use the sweet hot mambo sauce. Put a little bit of that. That just offers a little bit of sweetness to it. And that does have a little bit of a kick to it, but not crazy. I don't eat spicy food. So that's just for a little bit of fun. And then I'm just gonna take this lime and squeeze it. Okay. Alan didn't really have expression. Well, well, she said, don't let her. You're sincere. I felt you felt more on the spot. But that was not a big deal. How do you spend more much time on that spot with this conspiracy? Well, you know, I guess on some level we did. But I'll see you to me. I do have a habit of minimizing things. That's just one of you. I'd rather. It's really important to. Oh. Hi, How are you? Hey, gorgeous. Hey. Hey, Bambi. Uh -huh. By the way, I imagine that was a person. I'm just not even gonna mess around. What she can easily persuade people. No, no, no. Frankie, you are not. Oh, I love it. Look at it. I imagine it would lie with Mohammed. Experience the action to find the vibe. Woo. Good night. Hopefully my hair turned out cute. I I just don't know. Let's do a little bit of makeup though. I wash my brushes. Hold on. He wants to come the way. I finally washed my little powder pads. I know they was like that. Oh no, nah. this isn't good for anybody. Okay, alert, come on, come on. Hey. Oh, let me tell you. How about one thing's for certain and two things for sure? Cheese do break me out. Cause why I was trying to see like, okay, let me see how my skin responds to, the other day at Trader Joe's, I saw this cheddar string cheese. It ain't even string cheese, it's just a block of cheese, low key little individual blocks of cheese. 
it's so delicious i love cheese and i specifically love sharp cheddar this is mild cheddar but it's got the sharp cheddar vibe so i'm like pop um under how do i want to do so i'm all like okay um i'm like okay i'm gonna get this because i was just in the mood for that cheese but also i was like i'm gonna keep an eye on how my skin responds to this girl two cheeses later i see um a pimple here i had a pimple here and i feel something right here um hopefully that doesn't turn into anything but i'm just like oh shoot okay like there's no denying it there's no denying it because there is no reason for my skin to be re responding like that the only change that i've made is the daggone cheese so i'm just going to the oh i didn't put on any are we saying f it i didn't put on any sunscreen i'll be all right um i'm just shoot i knew it my homegirl's here so i really gotta hurt <laughs> she's gonna be like bitch okay combo's over i'm not even running late first of all she didn't ask me what time i wanted to do all this anyway we're going to the mall um just to get out the house and spend some time together <laughs> First of all, I got lots of compliments on my salmon look today. I got these pants from Levi's and this top is uh, from Uniqlo, but they just so happen to be the same exact color. So I wore this cute little monochrome look for today. Let me turn on another light. Yo, so today we had gotten our Aaliyah bag and we were watching all these old Aaliyah videos and we were just thinking about just reminiscing on, you know, how important Aaliyah was for us growing up. Like seeing Aaliyah for the first time and immediately wanting my hair straight with the swoop. Aaliyah is also a really good example of like, man, that was a time where being super curvaceous was not necessary in order for you to be deemed beautiful. Like this was a girl who had her own shape and was still bad. You know what I mean? Still sexy. I was asking my friend though while we were watching Aaliyah's video like, do you think it's possible for an artist to not be influenced at this point? Because Aaliyah is a great example of like a girl who came in here and did her own thing. You know what I'm saying? We're still dressing like Aaliyah to this day. I'm like, is it possible for an artist to have that kind of vision of themselves and has a team that also sees them and can complement their look and has a vision for them too, or an artist who trusts their team to make decisions for them? Because outside of Aaliyah and the way she carried herself, you know, a hairstylist has something to do for that swoop, for her cute hairstyles in all her videos. A makeup artist has something to do for all those cute ass makeup looks that she has, excuse me, cute butt makeup, <laughs> try not to curse, but for all them cute makeup looks in all her videos, like, you know, this is a team of people who came together and invested in this piece of art. And I do think that artists out now are creative. I just think that it's heavily influenced by things that have already existed. I think there were areas where Aaliyah was also influenced, but I just think it was the perfect time. It was before, I don't know, it was before a lot of things. She, like TLC and Missy Elliott, did a lot of like black futurism in her videos. And at the time, like, I feel like people were saying she was weird and like, definitely with Missy Elliott, they was calling Missy Elliott weird. That might've been more so like a, a colorism thing and a featureism thing and a fat phobia thing because Aaliyah was also making black futuristic videos and so was TLC. 
Missy Elliott did it and they was calling Missy weird, calling her videos weird. I remember she did an interview where she was talking about people was calling her weird after she did her um, Beat Me 911 video and her She's a B Word video. It was one of them. And she was like, they was calling her weird. I'm just like, man, it was iconic. It just feels like, dang, like, I wanna be excited again about artists. I feel like at this point, the only artist that gets me excited like that is Beyonce. And it's because Beyonce has the privilege of having access to newness. She has the best producers, the best writers, really innovative thinkers around her. And she has that privilege because she's earned it. It's not like it was just handed to her. She's earned you know, the right to have the best people around her when it comes to her artistry. And she makes use of them and she creates amazing art. Oh, it's 11 11. <sighs> Me. But yeah, anyway, I'm about to watch Real Housewives and chill. Bye. Then she was like, she, um, she. Blackbird, Bodyguard, Jolene, Spaghetti, Most Wanted, Yaya, Riverdance, Hands to Heaven, Tyrant, Sweet Honey Bucket. That was a great album. That was a great album. What I love about Beyonce, and I've said this multiple times, but what I'm loving about Beyonce, mind you, I've been a fan since Destiny's Child, four members. I have watched this woman become a superstar because she wasn't always a superstar. You know what I'm saying? I watched her blossom into a worldwide superstar and I watched her artistry become something that was controlled. You know, that I Am Sasha Fierce era was very much label heavy choices. It was very much billboard choices. And that's why Four was her moment. She began managing herself. This was the birth of Parkwood Entertainment. This was Beyonce fully coming into ownership of her artistry. And from that point on, everything that she created felt like her. And it has evolved every single time. I'm not comparing the albums. What I'm talking about is the spirit behind it. Why are there cars going off? Hold on, like, I, what, what's going on? God damn, it's always something. Hold on, hold on. My bad. But yeah, I'm not comparing the albums. What I'm talking to you about right now is the spirit behind things. Like right now, I feel like the spirit behind these acts, this Renaissance era for her, is about her doing things for her family, for the people who have directly influenced and inspired her. The Renaissance album was for Uncle Johnny. Cowboy Carter is for Beyonce's mama now. You know, Beyonce's name is actually based off of 
her mom is maiden name, which is spelled B-E-Y-I-N-C-E, -E, still pronounced the same way. And I feel like this album is about her, one, connecting with that side of her, that country side of her, and then also her own experience at the CMAs. Let's talk about it. Like, y'all did what y'all did. Now y'all dealing with the consequences. And so I just feel like this lady has made it very clear that from this point on, they ain't about you. We ain't doing this for you. Now you might you might get hit with one of these, you know what I'm saying? But this ain't got nothing to do with you. This is about me and my folks. I'm, I'm making sure that they know we good. You know what I'm saying? And her having that song, what's it called? Blackbird? That was really that that was really touching to me because it was Blackbird to 16 carriages to protect her, which to me just said, girls, I see you, girls, I feel you, girls, I got you. <sighs> like what can we do? What can we do but applause, but get up and clap? <laughs> palm to palm. <laughs> fingertip to fingertip. <laughs> like I can't, that's all I have. Beyonce owes us nothing. She's given us everything and then some. Even if this album isn't your cup of tea, I think that it's more so about respect and recognizing someone mastering their craft. She has mastered her craft. Even if you don't particularly love the music, I'm sure you can appreciate her mastering her craft. When this woman gets on a record, those background vocals along with her lead vocals, but those background vocals, it feels like an angel. Like nobody else can do that. I was gonna say nobody else is doing it, but nobody else can do it. Oh man. It's always so interesting too, when I take in some Beyonce content, I really have to take a moment to process it. Like it's been about an hour since I listened to the album and I've just been walking around my house, just walking around thinking about what I just listened to. And I obviously am going to go back and listen this time with headphones, um, probably tomorrow out on a walk, but I'm just so admirable of her journey. Like it's beautiful and inspiring. Yeah. Like I personally don't love country music, um, but I can appreciate, I can appreciate it. You feel me? Oh man. Sweet Honey Bucking, Tyrant, Hands to Heaven, excuse me, Two Hands to Heaven, O Louisiana, Desert Eagle, Yaya, Bodyguard, My Rose, River Dance. in no particular order. Honorable mentions, Blackbird, Daughter, Alligator Tears, and Flamenco. 16 Carriages, Protector. Like, I know these ain't, oh, oh, heck no. Did I do that or was that already like that? Shoot, no, this had to already have been open. Heck no. Dang, I gotta go right this that one back. Not feel like doing that. Anyway, cooking for my family and I decided I'm gonna make one a nostalgic thing, manwich. I think it's so, it's kind of campy. Like, oh my gosh, family gathering, sloppy joe, cute. It just feels comforting to me. So I already got the beef for that yesterday from Trader Joe's. And I have to go to Whole Foods to get those brioche buns that I really like. So I'm gonna go do that today. Um, I'm also thinking about making some chicken wraps. I don't know why I need to pause, but I, I was thinking as I was talking. But yeah, I'm thinking about making some chicken wraps. So I got this naan, but one of them's open, so I need to go return that with a little like cucumber tomato salad that you can either eat in the wrap or you can eat it as a side. But yeah. I'll show you how to make everything. Blackbird singing in the moon. See we got, we got the boat. See we got, we got the boat. Like, I don't make the rules, babe. That's what she said on that track. You feel me? She said. Um, I also got some little 
like the nice paper plates. Cause I have paper plates, so I was like, let me get the plastic ones. Just, it's just nicer. And it's not that I don't want people eating off my plates. Like obviously they can, but it's just in case there's not enough. I really only have four plate bowls. Like they're, this is what I use as plates. And I just have four of them. And then I have these two small things. So it's just not enough for everybody. So I knew we were gonna need to have some additional plateware. I didn't want to rely on just my paper plate. And then I got these girls because they were on sale, $1.40 a piece. At this point, I'm committed to no longer shopping anything that's full price. Like, I only want to do sale shopping because to me, I realize everything goes on sale. Everything. There's almost no point in buying something at full price unless you like are getting some limited item and you can only get it right then and there. But yeah, no. That first thing is just a like this very comforting, Beyonce's voice, I don't know what makes her so daggone special that she's the one anomaly in the game whose voice has only gotten better as they've aged, but Beyonce's voice sounds like butter on every song, but when Blackbird starts playing, it sounds, because it's not an original song, you know? But her version of it just sounds so comforting. I feel like I'm running through a field of flowers on my way to the wraparound porch to go and drink some fresh lemonade. Like, that's what I feel like I'm doing. And all my friends are there. We're all laughing and it's a beautiful day. Not too hot, it's definitely not cold. And then of course, I see one lone loser Who's talking about something? Y'all be getting so dramatic and hype about Beyonce. And no shade to this person. I don't know if they watch my stuff. But I just hate to see someone say something negative when we're all enjoying something. Like, come on, man. And it's not hype. It's like, yo, it's really good. If you don't like it, then you gotta take that L. You got poor taste, babe, and you just go to your corner and you sit there with it and rock by yourself. But you certainly don't gotta get online talking about we being dramatic about enjoying something. How often do we get something great these days? <sighs> nah, cause I'm about to. Like, knock it off. Blackbird singing in the summer beat. See the guy, the guy, the guy. Tulips really be thirsty, so I feel it all the way to the top. I'm doing my tulips. But yeah, today I did my second Cowboy Carter listen with my headphones. Cause yesterday's listen, I just listened on the stereo in here. But you put on them headphones and you listen, you can really hear her. Man, oh man. It's just one of them ones like, dang. You are really, really good. You are really, really good. And you know what, there's some people who just can't compute that, right? Cause they have nothing to compare it to. Like who else is just really, really good like that? You know what I mean? That people stand over them. And there are other Stan fans, Taylor Swift, Nicki Minaj, but I think we can all honestly say that Beyonce is in a different category when it comes to the talent element. And so it's just like, to me, it's it's warranted standum. To me. Maybe not to you, but to me, it's, it's warranted standum. That's my mama, and I don't care you can say this, that, and third, but that's my mama. Shout out to Candy. That's my mama. Blackbird singing in the summer <laughs> I can't stop singing it. It's just so on good. Don't you get it, girl? Like, that's just what it is. I'm not making this up. What am I missing? Oh, I put two in there. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. I listened to the album while I was on a walk, and it's just beautiful outside. Literally beautiful. And it's gonna be beautiful all weekend. We have really good weather this weekend. We'll say that, like, gonna be 79.80. That's crazy. 
So tomorrow I'm going to the soft launch of my friend's store, which I think, I think I'll show some footage of that. I think I can show some footage from that. Maybe, maybe, you wanna see. My lack of footage posting when I'm out and about has very little to do with the girls and very much to do with the weirdo men that exist. Girls, like, first of all, I know we've all heard about the stories recently about these women getting punched in New York. That's number one. Number two, the twins, one of the sisters got stabbed and killed. Sorry that we, you know, uh, uh, what's, what's the word? Trigger warning. But yeah, was murdered because she said no to giving a man her number. And she gave him her Instagram and he still felt like that wasn't good enough and decided to stab her and her sister. One of them just happened to pass. Like, when we talk about voluntarily telling folks where we be at, that's not me. I'm not, I don't, I'm not doing that. It don't make sense to me to do that with all the crazies in the world. It just don't make sense. And honestly, I don't put a crazy past nobody. There's crazy women as well. I got one of them in my DMs right now. Only reason why I haven't blocked her is because I'm keeping my eye on her. But yeah, like some folks just don't have, you know, everything here. And um, I'm more than aware of that. And I take necessary precaution. Tulips are so pretty. These will be dead in two days, but they're so pretty. Oh, I don't even care. No, I don't care. I just love them. Cutie but You are that girl. 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 BRB. BRB. Beyonce. BRB. RNB. Act 3. RNB. RNB. Three letters. Act 3. RNB album. Oh, I'm annoyed with myself because I made a rookie mistake and got on the elevator with this security guard that I've been seeing all day and he's so weird. Like, we'll just stare at you and then you'll be like, hi, and then he'll be like, hi. It's like, he does the weird thing, like the thing that's just like, okay, you're being weird. <sighs> and of course I happen to see him on the elevator and it's just me and him. And normally I would pick a different floor, but I just was, it just happened so fast and I clicked my floor. I hate that he knows what floor I'm on. Because he's so weird, I just picture him like pacing on this floor waiting for me to come out of my apartment. And I know somebody might think, not nobody that watches this hopefully, but there's somebody out there that might hear that and think, girl, like you, you really be thinking, you thinking too hard about it or you, you, why you think everybody wanna do this, that, and the third? I don't think I'm any more special than any of the women who have been victims to random acts of violence. Like, that kind of stuff happens. It has nothing to do with me, it has something to do with them. Like, the crazy person. And we should all move with the same level of awareness. It's not about being scared all the time, but it's about being aware all the time. And I do believe that my heightened sense of awareness has saved me multiple times. One thing about 
spring mix salad, it's gonna go bad. Or at least I'm gonna let it go bad. You gotta eat that thing that day. You got it that day or the next day to eat it. If you don't eat it right then and there, you're done. Consider it done. Okay, the last thing I need to do is take this bread back. And then I'm done for the day. And by the time I get back, it'll be time to break my fast. I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna make both. Like, I'm trying to decide if I'm just gonna make sloppy joes. I'm just gonna like play it by ear. We'll see how hungry everyone is. We'll see how they enjoy the sloppy joe. And then if they want something else, then I'll make the, the chicken wrap. Cause I can save that chicken wrap for me. Okay, y'all be. And we're done. You know what I never have? Napkins in my bathroom for people to dry their hands. I'm just like, shake it, pat it, or come out here and get a paper towel, that's me. But I got some napkins, and I couldn't find like the good quality thick napkins that are meant for you to dry your hands off with. So all I have are just these like, the entertain napkins. Whatever, man. Figure it out. Figure it out. All right, I'm proud of myself. Everything's complete. I got everything I need to get for the shenanigans. Only thing I don't have is fresh parsley. I can get that tomorrow. I just like to have parsley in the house. But yeah, nice, real nice. This plant is so interesting. So this plant right here, her, she doesn't live here anymore. I put her in the hall and she was looking crazy and droopy. I'm like, oh, maybe she's not getting enough sun. But then I realized like, oh, the soil is hella dry. So she just, she has to be watered more often than I thought. And also her, her response to water and sun is so quick because she was so droopy before I left. And now she's standing up. So that's amazing. I love instant results. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. I have an hour until it's time. Oh, hello. I'm gonna sit down. I have an hour until I break my fast. So I'm just gonna sit for a bit because I haven't sat all day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Power your projects. That's why we carry Ego, the number one brand that cordless I work smarter, not hard. Wearing tight clothes keeps us like sex in the city type of fantasy. I think that's cute. I like this. We'll go with you. You know, it was ugly Saturday. I don't negotiate United States. I don't know. I just felt free. <laughs> Delicious. United food. I am. Let me know that day. Is that a true friend? I feel like everybody left to get away with it, but we all just don't. Steam and pressure. Anytime. Sometimes stud just look best. Like, 
I don't know, but like, low key, that look better than any other option I got right now. I think my fingers got skinnier because one of my rings be slipping and sliding and then they're not used to slip and slide. I'm just like, what's really going on? Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm one of you, bitch, please don't play with my man. Whatever Beyonce said. I wanna put some oil on my legs just to make them shine, but I'm about to get my friend's car. She got leather seats, and I just don't wanna do that to her. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about her. You know what sensation I hate that I feel like we don't talk about enough as a society? Something being in your eye. What the hell? It was not coming out right. Okay, what glasses? We have options, we do have options. Do we wanna go completely off the charts and go tinted eyewear? Like we could go off the charts and go tinted eyewear. That would be her. I don't think so. Um, we could go with the obvious and just go blue and be super blued out. I feel like this is a good choice with the outfit and such. I'm not mad at her. I think she's a little obvious. We could go this route, giving you schoolgirl all the way. I'm also not mad at her. I think she's kind of fun and not expected. I'm actually liking her because also I like the shape. I think I'm gonna go with her. This is the bag that I'm carrying. Like, talk to somebody else about it, it's not a fashion show. That's the thing, like, you thought you came here for something else, you need to know where you actually at. And it's just my house. Like, I think that's cute. I'm just popping in and popping out. Um, what else did I want to do? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Put on an anklet. That's what I wanted to do. Just a little anklet, just a little something. Love a piece of leg jewelry. We're just gonna put that so right there. My friend said she was coming in. She's probably on her way. Okay, lip gloss. Hair is smelling good. Slicked at the top, puffed at the bottom. I think I could say the same for my body hair. See ya. See how this plant is so funny? This is it standing all the way up. Just yesterday it was like, well you saw it. Hold on, let me turn the light on. But yeah, look at that. She is funny. Let me put her back where she go. because my brother's turning 21 this week and I haven't seen some of my family members, we're talking about immediate family, in years. So 
uh, you know, it's definitely a big, huge deal. I've been praying every day and all today, just praying that the things that, hello? Praying that the things that normally trigger me don't trigger me today. I, I wanna be unbothered. I'm praying that today we just simply enjoy one another's company and we laugh. What the heck is going on? We laugh and uh, just have a good time. That's, that's all I want. And um, family is probably the trickiest relationship for me because when you're, and, and it goes both ways, like when non-family members establish boundaries, I feel like that gets respected more than when your family does. I feel like your family will just like kind of try you because it's like, girl, you know, they just think that they have like never ending access to you. And there's been moments where I've had to establish boundaries and create distance. And, um, you know, it's tough. Anyway, today will be the first day that I'm seeing some family members and some of this family, oh, that looks nice. Some of this family I haven't seen just, it's just been circumstantial. Like, I'm not trying, I, I don't wanna tell nobody business, but like, yeah, like, you know, everybody got something going on. So, you know, one month turns to two months, two months turn to six months, six months turn into a year, and then it turns into the norm of just not seeing each other. Fabulous. Let's get this up. I should probably not put it the same way I had it last time. Maybe that's what made it fall off. But this is not glass. This is like, I don't know. It's not glass. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it. It should be all right. Especially just for today. I don't know. Oh. But yeah, um, I personally am breaking this pattern of just like not seeing each other, not making it a point to celebrate one another. You know, it's literally become a norm in my family. And I think you don't realize what you have until it's gone. And it's like, we're all still here. We should be spending time with one another and enjoying each other and laughing together and just all the things. So that's where I'm at with it. And luckily my family is open to that as well. You know, sometimes, sometimes it just takes that one person to just be like, no, we gotta schedule this and we gotta do it, you know? like. We can't just talk about it. We can't just say, oh yeah, that would be nice. Like, somebody has to do it. And I think one of the more like crazy things of adulting is just realizing that you are no longer just the kid that shows up. You have to, you don't have to, but I think you'll find that you're gonna end up contributing to the space and to the moments that you share with your family. I am an adult now. I'm not one of the kids. So I, I have to contribute to this community of mine, this family, and I have to set things up for us to get together. And not because I have to, but because I want to. Cute! Awesome. Yeah, man, listen. Oh, I'm gonna actually say this is the border to the other one, which I might cover up because it's all broken up. Like, should I cover it up? Cause it's all ripped up and looking crazy. I don't even like it here no more because it's all warped and stuff because it's not glass. So it looks, I don't know. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Like, when it fell, the glass ripped up all of this. I want the hip bones in motion thing to show, but I feel like I might as well cover it up too. I don't know, I'll do it another time. It's fine. 
Or should I put this one over here and this one over here? I like this one here. Anyway, I'm just praying today is, hello. I'm just praying today is a good day. And I'm praying that, you know, my space is respected. That don't nobody get on my nerves. That the things that triggered me or that trigger me don't trigger me today. I, I pray that I'm able to let things roll off my back and be the unbothered woman of my dreams. It's okay to have inner thoughts, but I know that I have powerful energy. And when I get annoyed or when something bothers me and I let that come out, I can affect the whole vibe of the space. So, because I don't wanna do that, because today is not about me, I pray that I'm able to let things roll off my back. I can do that. You is smart, you is kind, you is beautiful. Or whatever she said. Um, what do I want to do with this trash? I guess I should throw it out. I'm gonna throw out this trash. I'll see you guys in a bit when I start cooking. I'm actually gonna start cooking. Everyone's gonna get here around like between two and three. It's 12:45 now. 12:46. I want to start cooking by like one o'clock. Because at first I was like, do I want everything to be ready by the time they get here? Can I be cooking while they're here? But I think it's probably best to just already have everything ready when they get here so we can just start rubbing because maybe they haven't eaten. So yeah, just have the food ready. I have a little hors d'oeuvres, some fruit. That's it really, just some fruit. Um, I could go to Kroger and get me a green onion roll. Let me pull out all of my. So, back in the day when my mom would make sloppy joes, she would use something called manwich. I'm not using manwich. I'm going to make it from scratch. Well, not scratch, it still can't stuff, but I won't be using manwich. Let me see. I don't know if I need. Okay, I'll get some green peppers. Got this. Um, I got some tomato sauce. Where is my tomato paste? There we go. Got some tomato paste, and I have all the other fixings. I'm gonna just go and get me a green pepper real quick. I'm going back and forth. I was also trying to decide if I wanted to break my fast today, like if today if I'm gonna eat. And I just think it's probably best for me to eat, like to break bread with my family. It's been so long that I just feel like, you know, and I, I thought about this all week, like whether or not I was gonna fast or break it today. Um, I haven't consumed anything yet. I think I won't eat until like my family gets here. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me run out and get this stuff. I'll see y'all when I get back. Bye. It is hot outside, by the way. Like, oh. I didn't know what cheese I wanted to use for the sloppy joes. So I have mozzarella, pepper jack, and I have that mild cheddar in there that I can cut up. So there's options, because I don't know. I also have Munster, but Munster is too tangy. I think mozzarella is gonna be the best, the best option. Did I need these little fanned out uh, plants? No, but it was $1.75. And to me, you can never have enough like greenery in your home. I just think that's so nice. Let me see where I want to put it. Hold on. Yeah, I shot on a video. Yeah, I on a video. I don't is that too much or is this like just another green area? Like, I'm not mad at that. I'm definitely not mad at it. Could it go somewhere else? Duh. But I'm not mad at it. Let me think. Let me think. There you go right there. Because guess what? Who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me, boo? Cash up on the video. That's up on the video. Make it up and do it nasty. That's up and do it nasty. Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle. That's my girl. That is my girl. 
love Desert Eagle. Cash out on the Okay, now it's time to start cooking. So let's get started. Like my little incense, some of the things that like get me comfortable, get me calm. Music, smells like, it's basically me getting my, my senses tickled. <laughs> yeah, some good music and an incense or a good candle. That's gonna do it for me every time. Every time. And also, I'm not nervous. I think I'm anxious. And yeah, it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, another element to all this is that I've never hosted my family in my house. Like, you know, I've had one or two family members come at a time, but everybody, and it's not a lot of people, but you know, our version of everybody. Everybody don't have a big family. That's why people who do have big, beautiful families that get together and stuff, I'll be like, man, that's really beautiful. Everybody don't got that. I don't have a big family. I have like immediate family. You feel me? Two aunties, two grandmothers, one uncle, two cousins, three cousins, three cousins, and my two siblings, my mama, my stepdad, and my biological dad. That's it. Notice the lack of men. I mentioned, well, no, stepdad, dad, but I guess like what I'm saying is like they ain't present. My stepdad is, but not my dad. My grandfathers, I do have one living grandfather. Well, I might have two. I don't know the other grandfather, but one of them I've only got to hang out with once, maybe twice. I remember one time we like went up to his house and went fishing with him. Yeah. Other than that, Grandpappy. That's why I was gonna do that. Um, what's that thing called? Where you could, what's it called? 23 of me. I don't like the whole like, you gotta agree to let them keep your DNA thing. It's like, yes, I'm sure the government's gotten my DNA before, like I'm sure, but I just, um, what was I about to say? Yeah, I know that they, I know that my DNA is probably already swimming around someplace, but, I don't know, to voluntarily, you know, give that information up, I'm just like, I'll pass. I've been getting more comfortable using this big knife. I know usually I like to use a smaller knife, but I've been using this one to chop all this week and I feel more comfortable. That's why I don't use big knives because I don't feel comfortable, that's why I. Girls, I was watching this interview of the Breakfast Club that they were doing with Eric Adams, and they had this attorney on there. Um, her name is Oliyemi, and when I tell you she was getting him together, and it was really, really hard to watch because Eric Adams was doing that thing that men do when a woman is catching them in lies. Like, that thing that men do when they're trying to make a woman feel like she doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, she would ask a question and instead of him looking at her and talking to her, he would turn to uh, DJ Envy and Charlemagne and only address them. And I'm just like, if the mayor of this city, in this city, I'm not in New York anymore, but if the mayor of New York can't even face a woman who's asking him tough questions. Why are you the mayor? You don't even respect women. And yes, it is just as simple as that. Like, he don't respect women. And I think you should watch the interview, even though he's doing a lot of talking, dancing, specifically tap dancing around questions. I just want you to see how he engages this intelligent woman who's really calling him out. And he tries to invalidate everything that she says. He was condescending and patronizing. And it, it was just so yuck. It was so yuck that I was just like, ooh, like, I hope, I hope this is the, the final 
round of you being mayor because you are gross. Outside of all the things that she was talking about, all the facts about, you know, what he's been doing and not doing in that city, it's also just like, you're gross. So how about that? How about we don't want you to be mayor because you're gross? I think this should be enough onions and green pepper. Maybe a little bit more onion. Cash out on the video. Got, 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 how many sloppy joes I'm gonna be able to make. But I also have chicken wraps that I can make, that I'm prepared to make. So, we can always do that. Garlic powder, black pepper, and a little Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, work a 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 work you ever do that thing where you like have had an interaction with someone so you are like prepping for that interaction again and even though I don't want that to happen it's like my body is like ready to defend itself that's what I'm dealing with right now I think that's where the anxiousness is coming from just like oh I hope that <sighs> I hope that everything is just light light say light so part of what I need to do, how I want to display things, I'm gonna make a cucumber salad. So I think that's gonna go in here. I'm gonna put some chips in here. I'm gonna mix up some chips. Put some chips in here. Shoot, that's it, for real. Here's my chips. Habanero mango and jalapeno. They're not spicy. Chips. More smoky than spicy, both of those. Like that mango habanero, I don't say habanero, but it is not spicy. Okay. Yeah, I do wish that I had more beets. That's definitely what I'm missing. Maybe I could run to the store and get some. God dang, I just left the store. Like this is more vegetable than it is meat. I definitely need more beef. Like. I'm gonna go back to the store and get that. The beef was secured. Oh. Need to drain this beef. Pause. Or as the new kids are saying, no ditty. Then we're gonna add in our tomatoes. I definitely needed two things of beef. Like one thing of beef, I don't know what I was thinking. Definitely needed two. Alright, let's drain this juicy. It's heavy. Oh, that's so a whole bunch of juice in here. Hold on. Cause you don't want no runny sloppy joe. That's why you gotta drain this. <laughs> Cause I've never done this. Never done it. Don't know 
what I'm doing, but it just, it feels like kind of common sense to me. So let's see how common the sense is. So one thing of diced fire roasted tomatoes, and I'm just, hello. Um, one thing of fire roasted tomatoes, and I'm not going off of anybody's recipe. I'm just seriously eyeballing it. Mm-hmm, that smell right. That sound about right. So first we got that. Probably needed two cans of that, but that's okay. Take a little bit of water so we can get all that fire roasted in there. Then I have tomato sauce. So I'm gonna use this tomato sauce. Definitely could have used two cans of fire roasted. Just could have, but it is what it is. Let's, I didn't pour the whole can. I just want to start mixing it up a little bit. Cause I do not want no runny, sloppy joe. Like there's still too much juice in here from the meat. Hold on. I gotta get this juice out. This ain't gonna work. I can't never find nothing and I need it. Yo. Oh, that's the thing I think that lady took and she sure did take my, my scooper. She sure did. I never brought that up. Should have. Doing what I gotta do, girl. Wait. I'm glad I got tomato sauce, cause definitely need more tomato sauce. Like I got a can of it, and I'm so glad I did. Tomato sauce to the rescue. And I still have some tomato base. I definitely need some sauce. That might be it right there. Yeah, low key. So what does tomato paste do? Does it just like thicken up a mixture? What is the purpose of tomato paste? Okay, it's supposed to make it even more tomato-y, so I will add that. Let's see, I'm gonna take a... This is also one of the reasons why I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to um, fast all day because I need to taste the stuff. You know, when you're cooking for a lot of people, it can't be a blind thing. Yeah, like, let's get a little bit of this in now. I think I should just put the whole can. I think that's good. This don't have no... Did I already open this? I hate a thing that's already, I don't remember opening this. Did I? Am I the one who took the thing off? Hopefully so. Use herbs. I hope I did that. And just a teensy amount of brown sugar. This is what this bag did last time. I hate this bag. Oh. Said she got the photo and I'm gonna die. Can I kick a guy? That's what I hear. Get it up, get it up. <sighs> My mom and grandmother are here. They're not in here yet. I'm about to go and get them, but. Pray for me. By this, by the time you're seeing this, the day has already happened. But I'm just, I'm going to continue to pray that today is a great day and that everybody gets along and that we just have a nice laugh, laughing, happy, dancey day. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>